Thank you so much, Carrie. So we are following the weather, of course, and that means a one school bus cancellation that we have noticed so far. So all buses in the Nipissing Perry Sound Catholic District School Board, they have been canceled. Just keep in mind, schools are open at this time. Haven't seen any other bus cancellations. This, of course, in advance of the uh, uh, what we're going to see in the weather department with a special weather statement. So keep an eye on this for you if there are any more to add to this list. Now, if you plan to commute between Toronto and the Niagara region, your ride could be a little bit easier coming in and going home. They are kicking off their weekday GO train service from Niagara Falls and St. Catharines on the Lakeshore West Line for the very first time. And our Tammy Sutherland on board. Any reactions so far, Tammy? Oh, yeah, a lot of people really loving this, Melanie. And I can tell you right now, we just landed at West Harbor GO Station in Hamilton. This is where typically the ride would start, heading westbound into the downtown core. But, of course, it started in Niagara this morning at 519. And you can hear the announcement. We've just pulled in. And so it really does help with commuters uh, who are starting their day really early out west. Now, here I have Stephen, who is actually taking this all the way from Niagara to Union. Tell me a little bit about uh, what your thoughts are on this expansion and how it's changing your commute. Well, it's a great opportunity uh, to get off the QEW and just take the train. You can relax all the way to Union Station. As I said, uh, there's power on the train so I can charge a phone or a laptop and just work away as we're traveling. Thank you so much. And of course, this uh, service, it's weekdays. It'll be leaving uh, Niagara Falls Station at 519 in the morning. And then a return train will be heading back at 515. And that will be from Union Station all the way out to Niagara. Now, the cost itself will be about 20 bucks if you are going the full length. So it could be a little bit of money, but of course, it'll save you a lot of stress. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you so much. Have a safe ride back. To our streets overnight now, a stabbing downtown sending a man in his 50s to hospital. The victim stabbed during some sort of altercation on Sherburne, just north of Queen, a little before 3 this morning. His condition serious, not life-threatening. A male suspect was arrested at the scene, a weapon recovered. He is facing an aggravated assault charge as well as assault with a weapon. The suspect expected in court today. To a brazen daylight shooting now in Toronto's Beaches community, where two men were sent to hospital and two suspects now in custody. The victims were shot around 2.30 yesterday afternoon, broad daylight, while sitting in a car at Kingston and Woodbine. They then drove a short distance south to Queen Street, rushed to hospital, reportedly conscious and breathing. We are still awaiting an update on their condition. Two suspects initially fled the scene on foot. They were later arrested, are now in police custody. So far, no word on those charges. Well, the day is here. If you are hoping to be among the first to open a legal storefront pot shop come April, the province is starting to accept applications today through until Wednesday to get into the game. It's not going to be easy, though. There are only 25 licenses that are up for grabs, only here in Toronto, five. The winners will be drawn on Friday, and if you are chosen, you got to pony up $60,000. It is a non-refundable deposit. Coming up just after 7 o'clock, we're going to hear from an industry insider on what may be about to unfold with this entire process.